When I started sewing, I wish I had a Magnificent Magnolia by Janome with all these features. You know, with this machine, you can do home deck, garment construction, mending, crafts, and anything else your sewing needs happen to be. The 7318 has 18 actual stitches, both utility and decorative stitches. Plus, look, it has a four-step buttonhole and a reverse stitch lever. Oh, and of course, an easy access bobbin winder. And back here, oop, a thread cutter. And in addition to all that, it has a self-threading take-up lever. Did you know this machine can stitch 830 stitches a minute? And it comes with four interchangeable snap-on feet. The all-purpose A foot, the blind hem foot, the zipper foot, and a sliding buttonhole foot as well as other assorted accessories for your sewing pleasure. And you can place them in the storage compartment. I love that, I keep all my junk in there. Oh, wait, I forgot. It also is a free arm. Look at that. You can hem pants, you can do uh, sleeves, anything that you have to do in the round. And back here, you have a lever where you can lower the feed dogs. It's so easy to do, and I love that feature for when I'm sewing on buttons. The instruction manual for this machine is superb. First of all, it has in detail descriptions of the different types of stitches, and you can see it has graphics to make it a very easy read and easy to understand how to do the different stitches. Now, let me show you some of what this magnificent Magnolia 7318 by Janome can do. First, I want to mention about the needle plate. The needle plate has markings for the seam allowance. It has 5 eighths of an inch, 6 eighths of an inch, and a half inch too. I'm going to go ahead and put on the all-purpose A foot. And you notice that these feet just snap right on in place. Isn't that wonderful? And it has an industrial lift for the presser foot. Take a look. This is when the presser foot's lowered, then lifted, then, ooh, extra high lift. And what is that important for? That's for introducing high loft or bulky fabric. Isn't that wonderful? Let me show you another sensational feature about this machine. It has a jam-proof bobbin. All you need to do to install the bobbin is just remove the bobbin cover and take the bobbin out, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to put the bobbin in. It does feed off counterclockwise. Place the bobbin in, catch it under the hook, and then just replace the bobbin cover, and you're ready to go. And look, it has the horizontal thread delivery, which prevents backlash, or what I like to call thread whiplash. And you know what that means when the thread jerks back. That doesn't happen. This machine has 18 stitches, utility stitches, and decorative stitches or stretch stitches. These are also called flexi stretch stitches. And what does flexi stretch stitch mean? Well, it means two steps forward and one step back. And that locks the stitch in place. I'm going to select the straight stitch and show you something really interesting. Here, to select the straight stitch, we're going to select A. This is your stitch selector. And you can also adjust the stitch length and you can adjust the stitch width or needle position. So first I'm going to start off at about, oh, I think two will work just fine. Now, take a look at this, watch what I'm doing, and then I'm going to lengthen the stitch, lengthen the stitch, lengthen the stitch, and you're going to see something really exciting. And I'm going to use the thread cutter. Now, if you notice, I have normal stitch, then it gets larger and longer, and you end up with your basting stitch. Isn't that neat? All of that just by using the stitch selection A and adjusting your stitch length. I like that. Isn't that great? Take a look at the needle, and I'm going to show you the needle position moving. Now, this is important because if you want to get sometimes closer to the fabric or away from the edge of the fabric, you can adjust that. Now I'm going to change to a zigzag stitch. So I'm going to select stitch pattern C, 
and I'm going to go ahead and keep the length on two to start with. But as you will see, I can go from a zigzag stitch to a satin stitch by just adjusting the stitch length. So let's take a look. I'm going to start out with just a regular zigzag stitch and then I'm going to tighten it up a little bit. And in just a moment, you're going to be able to see what a difference it makes. Oh, that's looking beautiful. This machine has so many wonderful features. And with those 18 stitches, I'm going to show you in just a minute a sample of some of the things that it can do. Now, let's take a look at what we've just accomplished by the stitch selection C. You can see where I have an open zigzag. I made it a little bit closer. And take a close look at that beautiful satin stitch. I am so, I impress myself sometimes. Isn't that beautiful? This magnificent Magnolia by Janome is wonderful. There are also if, some stitch options for stretch stitch. There's overcast stitches and there's blanket stitches. There's so many stitches that you can just combine and have a wonderful time with. Let's take a look at a sample of some of the stitches stitched out. I have this sampler that I'm going to show you of some of the stitches. And these stitches were done using just the four feet that came with the machine. But there are also other accessory feet available. This is pin tucking done with the blind hem foot. I had never done that before, but when I checked the manual, the graphics and the instructions made it so easy, this was just a piece of cake. Down here are some of the stitches that are available for stretch stitch. Now this one, I think they want to call that sometimes like a feather stitch. And this is a scallop satin stitch. This is actually a knit overcast stitch, but doesn't it look like a blanket stitch? I think it does. And some more overcast stitches. This is a honeycomb stitch. Now this one down here, oh, it's one of my favorites. I call that the funny bone stitch. I just love it. Now if you look over here, this is one of those uh, stretch overcast stitches, but I did a little bit different technique with that using some uh, heavier thread. And isn't that a beautiful effect? I just love this. And I was so impressed that I could sew these big buttons on with this machine. By lowering the feed dogs and selecting the stitch pattern C, I was able to do that with no problem. Also, I made a buttonholes. These buttonholes were done with a sliding buttonhole foot and adjusting the stitch length. I think one of my friends called this a uh, button garden, and I really like that. Now, when I attached the uh, pom-poms, I needed to get closer to the edge of the fabric. And that's where I was able with this machine to adjust the needle position. If you remember, I showed you that just a few moments ago. But wait, there's one more thing that's really sensational that I want you to see. With the zipper foot, I was able to install this zipper with no problem whatsoever. And even for me, look how straight that machine stitched. I just love the magnificent Magnolia 7318 by Janome. You know, life is an adventure, so remember to enjoy the journey with a Janome.